That's 200,000 oysters being added to an oyster reef off the dock of the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center, also called CERC. Bringing world-class restoration and world-class science together is just a match made in heaven. Together, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and CERC will not only help grow oyster populations, it will also help scientists from both organizations work together to learn where oysters are thriving and how to more effectively restore oysters where the bay is lacking stronger habitat. We hope that this partnership will bring a new level of scientific rigor and information that we can use to continue to improve our program year over year. CERC is already utilizing technology you might even have in your own home to make tracking oyster reefs more effective efficient and cost effective. This frame here has a couple of GoPro cameras attached to it that we're using to take video and pictures of oyster reefs. And it's important to track the progress of oysters given the current state of their population. We only have about 1% of the oysters that used to be in the bay historically. And that falls on the actions of humans. We pulled lots of oysters out and then used their shell to do things like pave roads and build buildings and things, um, and that shell wasn't going back into the bay. An important step when it comes to the development of oysters. Baby oysters, also called spat, don't have shells and rely on that hard surface to grow. Oysters are one of the most important species in the Chesapeake Bay and one that is vital to the success of, our, of the cleanup effort. Not only do they filter water very effectively, just look at the difference between these two tanks filled with Chesapeake Bay water. The tank on the right has oysters filtering the water. The tank on the left does not. They also provide habitat for other species like blue crabs and rockfish. So oysters make the bay cleaner every single day. And over the past 20 years, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation has planted more than 330 million oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. But part of a larger coalition called the Chesapeake Oyster Alliance, they hope to get 10 billion oysters planted in the mm -hmm. bay by 2025. I love that you showed the before and after the water quality. It's because amazing. the first thing I noticed when you showed the camera down there, I'm like, this water's filthy. Yeah. yeah.